Poly Maker have kindly sent some of their brand new PC Plus Poly Carbonate Filament for me to review. And what great timing, as I've just been testing other strong filament for making quadcopter frames. Let's check it out. You've probably heard of the plastic polycarbonate. It's been around for over 60 years and is widely used to make many products. So it's great to be able to print with that material that's been around for so long. Let's check out what's in the box. Polymaker always do a great job in presenting their filament. I'll give them that. Okay, looks like we're greeted with a pamphlet, a specification pamphlet about printing temperatures and the, uh, the uh, product information or key features about this, uh, about this filament. And they also supply a sheet of build tack. This uh, polycarbonate will not stick to uh, blue painter's tape or, or other materials. This uh, build tack is required and well, they supply it, so that's a, that's a bonus. And here is the plastic. So this, this one is black. They have three colours, uh, black, white and clear. And again, uh, this is uh, delivered in a vacuum sealed reusable pack with a bag of desiccant. Very nicely done. This PC Plus material has many advantages over PLA and ABS filaments, such as uh, higher strength, a very high glass uh, transition temperature of 112 degrees Celsius, uh, and also uh, the, the plastic or this polycarbonate can be sanded. So once your part is finished printing, you can get out some sandpaper and, and sand it smooth or sand it to uh, the required shape. So that means even if you're printing at uh, quite a coarse resolution of say 0.3 millimeter layer height, you can simply sand away the, uh, the outer perimeter and it should come out nice and smooth. Great! This filament comes on 750 gram spools and I believe these are the newer spools that uh, Polymaker will be moving to, to these, uh, these clear type spools. Great advantage of a clear spool is, first of all, you can see exactly how much filament uh, you have left. Not only that, um, Polymaker provide one of these, like a meter marker, uh, like a sticker, which basically tells you, as a weight, uh, how much filament you have left. So if it's full, of course, you'll have 750 grams. But as you're using the filament, there's a meter marker here of 600 grams, 500 grams, 400, 300, 200 grams. So that's, that's a really great idea. Well done for doing that. Taking a closer look at this filament, we have the black, the clear, and the white. The texture of the filament is very smooth. Uh, the colour of the black is, is pitch black. It is not transparent at all, but it is a bit glossy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, that is a bit glossy. And the same with the white. Uh, the white filament is also very smooth. Uh, and it is also, it's not transparent, and it's, it's got a bit of a gloss or, or a shine to it as well, so that's quite nice. And then lastly, we have the, uh, the clear colour. Uh, this one is obviously clear, uh, exactly the same texture as the other two, being smooth, and of course it's clear. Uh, looking at the filament properties itself, this is well, this polycarbonate is very stiff. Uh, this does not want to bend at all. This is uh, this is probably the stiffest filament that I've ever uh, witnessed. Actually, much stiffer than than a PLA. Uh, it ev it even has a, a similar, I guess, feel to it, like a like a metal wire, it is it is that that stiff and that and that hard. Uh, and let's give it the bend test to see uh, what what kind of strength characteristics we can expect from this. So I'll just grasp it there and I'll bend past a certain point, and there it is. It'll it'll hold its shape. So that's interesting. Um, it's going to be a stiff material, yet it's not going to simply snap and break like a PLA would. I guess it's going to be similar to to an ABS, but. Looking at that, I mean, this is the black material. I would have expected to see some stress fractures or stress marks there, but I can't see any. There's no discoloration uh, with, with this material, where in ABS, you, you see it go white when you start to stress it too far. And let's see if I can actually break this, if I bend it back and forth on that same pivot point. It doesn't seem to... I mean, it is getting uh, weaker and weaker every time I, I go back and forth, but there we go, finally broke it. So this stuff is going to be very strong, probably stronger than the uh, PETG material that I reviewed in the last video. So let's get cracking. I've removed the blue painter's tape from the uh, aluminium heat bed and I've applied the uh, sheet of uh, build tack that has come with the polycarbonate. 
I've preheated the heat bed to 80 degrees Celsius. That's the recommended uh, printing temperature for the heat bed. And I've preheated the uh, hot end to 270 degrees Celsius. Uh, that is the upper range of the recommended printing temperature with the polycarbonate. And once again, I'm choosing uh, the higher temperature because uh, I want the best layer adhesion po as possible. The, the recommended printing, printing temperature with this is anywhere from 250 to 270 degrees Celsius. So that means you're going to need an all metal hot end to print with this polycarbonate. So I'll simply feed that through and we should hopefully see some of the polycarbonate oozing, and there it is. And here is the Peon 230 quadcopter arm successfully printed in PC Plus. Now, as per the user guide with this uh, polycarbonate PC Plus, the manufacturer recommends that you print with a raft and also you use the supplied uh, build tack for your build platform. And uh, it's a good thing they did actually because the blue painter's tape that I initially tried with this wasn't able to hold this part down. It did start to warp uh, after a certain height. Um, but the build tack on the other hand, now I have used build tack before, but not like this. Build tack seems to stick uh, the polycarbonate down very well. There was no issue at all with Boeing. And as you can see with this part, it is dead flat. Uh, I'll go as far as saying the build tack is doing a too good of a job because sometimes it is a little difficult to, to get the part off the build tack. So um, I followed the uh, recommendations in the user guide. There's a frequently asked sections area. And I lifted the nozzle of, my, um, of, of, of this print to about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters off the print surface. And that allowed the very first layer of the raft to come down just like a cylinder or like a rope. Still stuck down very well, but it just allowed me to more easily, you know, get the uh, this, the knife under there and, and easily slice the raft off. Uh, and also the distance with printing with a raft from the top of the raft to the uh, the first layer of the the piece 
Uh, I also followed the um, manufacturer's recommendations and set the gap to 0.3 millimeters. So that is also quite important. I did try one with a smaller gap and uh, there was just no way I was getting the part off the raft. But at 0.3, once again, that allowed me to lift it off and get the knife in there and just slice it off the raft. And uh, that allows you to print with this polycarbonate successfully. Now the first thing I'll mention is the, uh, the the print quality of this polycarbonate is also very good. Um, uh, all of these exotic materials that I've printed over the last uh, few weeks, they all look sensational, which is great to see. Now, during the print, while I was printing this at 270 degrees, I had a couple of failures. This was my uh, other practice run, where the part would simply uh, stop halfway through, and on uh, Prontoface, there was a whole range of printing temperature errors uh, coming up on screen. And as you guessed, it turns out that within Marlin, there is a uh, like a cutoff um, a safety temperature, and it's set quite, I guess, low for my temperature. It was set to 275 degrees Celsius. So I upped that to 285 degrees Celsius, and that allowed me to print uh, without the printer tripping that, uh, that safety feature. So that's something to keep, uh, to keep in mind. And there was also no oozing with printing with this polycarbonate. Even at the, the top range, 270 degrees Celsius, there were no little blobs deposited on, on the arms of this quadcopter arm as the print head had to retract and move to the next section. So that's another bonus with printing with polycarbonate. Very little cleaning required once the part is finished. Uh, also, there was very little to no odour with printing with polycarbonate, which is also a uh, major plus. Uh, but as always, recommend printing in a well-ventilated room. Uh, and lastly, with the, the finished surface, so the surface of the first layer that was attached to the raft, that's going to be quite rough. So here's the other, the other one that, uh, that failed, and you can just probably see there that the surface is quite, quite rough. Uh, so with the finished part, what I uh, ended up doing was testing out the sanding capability. So I used some rough sandpaper first to, to get rid of the, the large... Uh, jagged edges from the raft and then finally followed that up with some very fine sandpaper to get that nice smooth finish uh, that this polycarbonate can provide and it's just like sanding like a hard wood all right enough yapping time to test out the flexibility and strength of this part uh, so just like the other tests I'll first try to break this by hand and uh, chances are I won't poly being polycarbonate and then I'll use the hand tool so let's give it the initial bend test Okay, I'm not going to break this by hand, I can tell you that right now, but the uh, the amount of flexibility there is, it is, there's a little bit of flex, but geez, it doesn't want to flex that much at all. But that, once again, that little bit of flex, hopefully, in a crash, will absorb uh, the majority of the energy of the impact. But um, that is still, that's actually quite stiff, but there's probably just enough flex there to uh, to be useful. Okay, so I'll grip the front side with the pliers and the rear with the multi-grips. Now, this polycarbonate is quite stiff, so I have a sneaking suspicion that once I bend it past a certain point, it may give way, but that might take a bit of force to get there. So, let's see how far it'll go before it'll just bend. Oh. Ah. Okay, well... That broke off pretty fast. Let's try a bit, bit closer. Get a bit of grip there. All right. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess I should have expected that. Polycarbonate being quite a stiff but brittle uh, material uh, didn't bend that much at all before, uh, before failing. And I guess it shares a similar characteristic to PLA, which is also... Uh, quite brittle. However, this polycarbonate took way more force to break than I guess a PLA would. So if what you need for your application is a very stiff, hard and strong part, then polycarbonate is probably uh, your use case.
And here is the retro rocket printed in clear PC+. Now this rocket printed hollow, there is no infill in this, and with only uh, two perimeters, because I wanted to check the clarity or the, or the transparency of this material, and this stuff is very clear. Now, there is a, some diffusion there, because it is curved and so on, but uh, that stuff is quite clear. Now, I'll bring my mobile phone into shot, and I'll just show you how clear this stuff is. If I light it up from the base, the whole part lights up. How good is that? And here is the gyroscopic keyring printed with the black PC+. And again, just like the clear and the white, this part looks quite nice. And once I removed the part from the raft, it simply spun. There was no need to get in there with a, a, a little screwdriver or poke, poke anything around. And that's testament, I guess, to, to not having any little blobs or oozing between uh, each of these rings. So printing mechanical parts with polycarbonate is not going to be a problem whatsoever. And also this part isn't very big. I mean, it's probably one inch in diameter. And it didn't have any issue printing all this detail. I printed this at 0.2 millimeter uh, layer height and it printed just fine. And just a couple of disadvantages with the polycarbonate material, the first of which is because we need to print this at quite a high temperature, you're going to need an all-metal hot end. So if you don't have an all-metal hot end, chances are you, you probably won't be able to print with polycarbonate. Uh, the other disadvantage is the requirement, or the recommended requirement, to print with a raft, which just adds one more layer of work before you get your finished part. But besides that, Printed successfully, thanks to Polymaker for sending it to me to review, and stick around for the last video of 2015 where I go over the translucent coloured PLA.